Hello, humans. <laughs> welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. I am the blogger behind Blondes and Bagels and we are going to be reviewing the new Tati Beauty palette. This is Tati's volume one palette. I got it in the mail literally today. So wanted to make sure to get this video out nice and quick if you wanna see how I got this look and hear my thoughts on Tati's new palette and brand. Keep on watching. Okay, so today, as you know, per the title of this video and the intro, we're going to be playing with the new Tati Beauty palette. This is the Textured Neutrals Volume 1. It says it, I almost just smacked myself in the face, it says it right here down on the corner, which means that she's likely to launch a bunch of these. Right off the bat, I do just wanna say, I'm definitely a fan of Tati, so I'm excited to see what this palette is about, but I do wanna just be very clear. I'm gonna be very honest about how this performs because it wasn't really that cheap of a palette. I think out the door I paid almost $60, including the shipping, the tax, all of that stuff. So it's not a cheap palette. I definitely want to make sure to give you guys the scoop. Right off the bat, the way that the packaging looks, it's very smooth. But as you can see, I'm looking in the viewfinder, as you can see, it's already dirty. All I did was open it. I haven't, I haven't put any of this on my face. We're doing it for the first time together and I've already got it disgustingly dirty. However, I think it is really good packaging. Um, very smooth. I wish we didn't have this stain thing going on, but it's not going to look pretty for very long, but that's okay. Comes with a, you're going to see my, my camera and everything. <laughs> um, comes with a giant, giant mirror, which I love that she did that. I'm really excited to have this huge mirror at my disposal, little plastic covering. This is what the palette looks like. It It's gorgeous. I mean, she did a great job with the shade choices here. You've got a whole variety of, you know, your cool tone, your warm tone, your smoky eye, your silver, like the whole thing, everything you could possibly want to do with a neutral look, you've got it here. So the way it's done is you've got these columns and they're named down across the bottom and they are essentially like color families. So you have like this smoky one, a more bronze one, an orange one, a couple neutrals, and then like a pink fuchsia kind of situation. Then she's got different formulas across the rows. So basically like this top row is very sparkly and it goes down in sparkliness sparkles, sparkle quantity. Basically the mattes are down across the bottom. The most sparkly shades are up across the top. So you've got a wide variety of formulations here of different color stories, lots of variety, lots of things to do. I don't have a plan for today. We're just gonna play together and see how it goes. I did show this to my fiance and he liked the way Soothe looked. So I kind of feel like we're gonna play with that color story, just keep it very neutral. So I'm gonna go in with the Soothe matte color right here here with a blending brush, 224 from MAC. Got a little bit of fallout, but not much. And just FYI, I am wearing a CC cream, but I'm not wearing anything else right now. Oh, I didn't use a primer. <gasps> you know what? We're gonna do primer on one eye and not on the other. So one eye we've got primer now, the other one we do not, so we can test the pigment with or without primer and the longevity. The primer I used was the Smashbox 24 hour, the photo finish primer that I use in literally every video. So I'm very familiar with how it performs. So if something doesn't go well, it's not the primer. So I'm definitely getting more pigment on the primer side. Add some more shadow to this side. Okay, I'm actually gonna mix color stories here because I really, I think I wanna do like a halo eye with like dark brown in the outer corners. So I'm gonna go into the Ritual Matte shade, which is like a warm toned flat matte brown. That could be the name of a guy. Sounds like a detective, Matt Brown. Detective Matt Brown. The pigment on these shadows is just amazing. All smoky eyes kind of look like trash when you're in the middle of them, but halo eyes specifically look so bad. Like that's a weird look, you know? Just gonna buff out those edges. We're gonna go back into the Soothe side. This row is like a little bit more of, I don't know what I would call it. It's like a light shimmer type shade. Not quite sparkly, but definitely not matte. So I'm gonna pack that in the center of the eye. All right, here's the moment I've been waiting for, which are, which is 
the time to put on these glitter shadows in the top row. So I'm gonna take, which one do I wanna do? I'm gonna stick with Soothe. So I'm gonna take this Soothe glitter shadow, but I'm going to use my finger to press it into the center. I did swatch Soothe earlier and it's beautiful, but a lot of these glitter pieces definitely, um, there was fallout. So I just feel like a brush is gonna complicate it. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my God, Tati, marry me. Run away with me. Leave James behind. I will take care of you. This is the most, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. No, but real talk, I'm blown away. I do think a brush would complicate these glitter topper shadows, but if you press them with your finger, I mean, wow, they're, this is beautiful. If a little is good, a lot must be amazing, right? Oh my God, I like can't stop. Oh my god, I'm so pretty. Okay, just going back in with my blending brush just to blend out the edges here. I will say we have some wayward glitter, so I have a lot of fallout here, which sucks because I'm wearing foundation, so I'm gonna have to take it off and reapply, basically. I've, I've even got a, a piece of glitter on the tip of my nose. Um, so there is a lot of like fallout from these glitter shades and they they get away from you but i do think that they're beautiful very pigmented as you can see like i'm getting a lot of payoff for that color but i do think you kind of have to know how to work with glitter okay the glitter is really getting away from me let me go ahead and clean up all of my foundation put on a little blush bronzer eyeliner mascara all that good stuff and then we'll come back and we will we'll see the final look and we'll talk about what we've done here today Okay, you guys, this is the final look with the new Tati Beauty Volume 1 palette. Uh, a couple things to note here. So I do love the way that the eyes turned out. I think it's beautiful. These are some really beautiful nude shades. I have to be very honest though that that glitter row, this glitter row up at the top was probably what I was the most excited to play with when I saw that Tati launched this palette. And just like transparently, I mean, I, I have a, a pretty extensive background in makeup. I've worked behind the counters. I worked for MAC, I worked for Bare Essentials. I feel like I know how to work with glitters and these glitters are just very unruly. They are impossible for me to manage. I had a really hard time cleaning up all of the glitter. I still, I mean, I, I wiped off all of my foundation with a makeup wipe. There was still glitter on it. I was like, okay, so I'm trying to scrape parts of it off. And then I finally thought I got it all off and I went and applied a new layer of foundation on. And it's just like, every time I blink, it must, they must just be, the glitter must just be like dusting down because I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have, let me see if I can zoom in. So I'm not sure if you guys can see it too well, but I have glitter just like literally all here. Uh, like truly it's it's everywhere and I, I can't get it off. <laughs> so that's my only complaint with this. I think the color range here, I think the I think the colors here are absolutely beautiful. You've got a wide variety. The packaging, great, minus the stain soft thing. I really hate that. Uh, I think you've got good variety. They are very pigmented. I mean, there's a lot of great things to say here. I, I would recommend it. I just think the glitters could use some work, which is a bummer because they're my favorite. They're the most beautiful. I mean, you saw my reaction when I put that color on my eyes. Like, like, it is rare to find glitters this beautiful. I just think that they need a little bit of work to make them stay. And that would be my feedback is proceed with caution on the glitters. But otherwise, I think it's a beautiful palette. Congrats to Tati. This is big. This is major. Launching your own brand is uh, no small feat. So congrats to Tati and her team. Thank you guys for watching. Please tell me down in the comments below if you have bought the palette, what you think, are you thinking about buying it like tell me I'm very curious and I want to chat about this because this is probably one of the most anticipated beauty launches of 2019 so it's been a fun little video reviewing it with y'all okay well please like this video give it a big thumbs up for me subscribe to my channel join the bagel babe family and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys